Hello everyone! It is not a secret that the Windows 11 start menu and taskbar lack many options present in Windows 10, Windows 8 and of course whenever Windows XP, World Toolbars and turn of the century goodies. But even though people don't like the new design, it is definitely not true that the 11 taskbar can't be customized at all. In this video, we'll try to make the thing more useful. And we'll start with the position of the start menu. I kind of hate Apple and its products and therefore I hate the centered start button, which was ripped off macOS. Let's bring it back to the left, where it has always been. Next, we'll remove the chat and widgets, because I personally prefer to launch my apps rather than using some flyout, and on the touch screens the widgets are just a swipe away, or with the key code. I also rearrange Edge and File Explorer because this arrangement has been the default for many years with IE and I have become used to it. I will also pin mail to the taskbar like this. You cannot drag and drop yet. Uh, this will come in the supposed Sun Valley 2 update. Uh, the same goes for pinning to start with the right click menu. Uh, and don't worry about the Facebook, Disney and uh, TikTok icons, the apps themselves aren't installed. Okay, if something can't be found in the All Apps section over here, try Shell Apps folder. This uh, contains every app on your PC, including help documents and more. On Start, you can also rearrange the app tiles like this Microsoft will also add folder support in this Sun Valley 2 uh, and also next to the power button over here as you can see I have added some useful links let me show you how this is done so you open personalization start and under folders you can customize what appears and what doesn't. I can see why Microsoft wants such UI simplicity. Because the future of computing is sadly no longer the desktop tower PC since we've got touch screens and sleek looking laptops. And speaking of touch friendliness, you might want to change the desktop icon size. I use large icons which are easy to open with the finger and are generally more appealing. By the way, you can also change the theme or the desktop background. Of course, Microsoft Store has some very nice themes you can check out and some premium ones are available for free now. The last thing I want to point out on the taskbar is the system tray, where you can find your background processes and apps. If you want something out of the way, you can just drag it to the overflow menu, like this. For example, I don't need Synaptics or Intel HD graphics. Okay, thanks for watching. My name is John. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.